Okay, hey Donna. Um, I'm gonna play the strum pattern real quick to Brown Eyed Girl as a reference. So if you're just watching the video for that, here it is. And then I'm gonna explain it in more depth in a minute. So it's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, bounce, up, down, up, down, down, up, bounce, up, down, up. Okay, so if you're just watching the video for that, there's your reference. Now let's go into a little bit more depth. We're doing a four, four count strum pattern. So it's one, two, and, and, four, and. So you're playing up strums after the two and the four, and you're not playing a down strum on the three, but you're playing an up strum after the three count on the and, if that helps break it down at all for you. But the easiest way to do it really is to say it, to play it like we talked about. Just say it out loud as you play it. Down, down, up, up, down, up, okay? Um, so I'm gonna play through that first verse and have you, um, if you want to, you can play along with me. But remember, the cool thing about the song, the majority of the song is the chord progression or pattern G, C, G, D. And it's repeated over and over again. So let's try that. Down, down, up, up, C is next, C, down, up, up, back to G, down, down, up, up, down, up, D, down, down, up, up, back to G, down, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, down, up, up, down, up, D, down, down, up, up, down, up, okay? So those are the chord, that's the chord progression you're playing through the majority of the song. And if you see um, within the song, it'll say something like three, um, for instance, in the chorus, you have a D chord. Um, do you remember when? It has a little three next to it in parentheses. That means that you're going to play the strum pattern three times, like this. Down, up, do you remember when? Up, up, down, up, down, down. We used to sing. Now, I know I'm playing it um, pretty slow, and I want to do that on purpose. So um, I'm, I'm trying to be really, you know, um, keeping you intentionally slow on purpose so that you're getting the hang of the strum pattern and you're able to do those switches. What we don't want is the song to sound like this. Whatever happened to Tuesday is so slow. Going down the gold mine with a transistor radio. Okay, it's preferable is to slow it way down and just get used to those switches and then we speed up as time. Remember the layer method. We start slow, we add different layers like strum patterns. If this is too complicated, go ahead and take the song down to four strums per chord. Whatever happened to Tuesday and so slow Going down the whole Okay, so I'm saying you can slow it down or pull back on a layer if it's too difficult. Hopefully this makes sense, um, but make sure that you're taking your time on it say it to play it on the strum pattern and if it, it, it if you're not getting the switches in time and you're consistently pausing maybe pull it back to just four strums per chord until you're more comfortable with those changes and then you can add the strum pattern on later whatever is going to be the easiest for you to do but remember there's different ways that you can play it to help you master the chord changes first and then adding strumming uh focusing focusing on the strum pattern later on. Okay, sorry, I'm, it's late at night, I'm getting tired. <laughs> but I hope you have a great spring break. See you later.